Welcome back my loyal subjects of funk to this Let's Funkin' play of Avernum Escape from the Pit and today we're going to do a miscellaneous quest that we can get from this billboard here so we'll go and click on that and um, the one we're going to take is um, which one was it? Misplaced Knowledge to whoever this this read to whoever reads this, I have learned that there may be scrolls in the Bandit Keep, northwest of Fort Duvno. Such papers contain magical knowledge, something very rare in the underworld. If these papers exist and are brought to me, I will reward my helper with a powerful paperwork of my own devising, signed Walner of Fort Duvno. So we're going to take that. Message, Fort Duvno. I am Jay, a warrior, fresh from the service. I wish to fight under Captain Johnson of Fort Dumbo, but he refuses to speak with me. If any can speak to him on my behalf, I would be grateful. I can be found in the inn in silver. Please take, uh, tell him that I he can uh, find me here. Right, okay. Let's take that. We'll do them too, and then there's bat swarms. We might get that one later. Maybe maybe we should get that one now. All we have to do is ki kill ten bats. We might do that, but we'll do it alongside other things. There is note from I have taken tack to find supplies to recover. I will pay in coin for three picks and three shovels. Bring the goods to me in my workshop. Right, okay, three picks and three shovels. So we'll keep out look out for them. It, it, I didn't know that was the case, but we'll be able to find them easily, and we'll probably be able to pick them up when we're doing this next quest, this session. So the first one, we're going to go straight to that, um... If we go back into the town, it should heal our... Yeah, magic. Right, okay, right. We're going to go and do the, uh, keep quest. And I remember where the keep is. It's somewhere up here. Because here is, um... Oh, shit. He's, he is three bats now. Oh man, what the fuck is it with me missing? <laughs> Good, sit down. I keep missing today. I don't want to use all my uh Don't use all my magic as well. Pissing hell. Go away. Right, okay, inventory ain't nothing here. Because they're just bats, so they wouldn't be carrying anything, would they? Um, we could go ahead and do that mission now, where we tell the leader of this. Um, I'll show you where he's at. I think he's in here, Captain Johnson. And that was the one that we just picked up. Um, deliver message to Fort Dumbo. Let's go and do that. There we go. We just got some uh, XP for that. Remember what you were, uh, you saw on the job board in silver. You tell Captain Johnson of. Jay's plight, he nods. I could use another blade. I have a scout going to Silva soon. I will send word to this young warrior. He tips you a handful of silver coins for your troubles. So that's not bad. I was hoping it might have just given us enough experience to tip us over there, but it hasn't. But we'll certainly have experience within uh, entering this bandit. That was an accident. It's because it was in the same sort of line of path. Here we go. Right, go this way. Here we go, it's up here. It's on this keep. Special announcement, you are sending a huge craggy spire of rock dominating this end dominating this end of the huge cavern. An old road made of thick cobblestones uh, leads up its side. At the top of the hill you see a crumbling fortress. It has a commanding view of the enormous cavern to the west. The fort is in uh, ruins, though you could see smoke from fires inside. It drifts up into the still air and leaves a foul grey haze around the keep. Let's go in. Got some stuff outside to pick up. No. Right, this is going to be some pretty enormous fighting. You enter this abandoned fortress. This was a small outpost placed here to keep watch over the vast expanses of cavern of caverns to the west. Now it is in ruins, abandoned by the Avenites. When you look around, it is clear that someone has since moved in. There are people living here, though you doubt that they're the legitimate owners. The buildings to the west have been roughly patched up, and you can hear loud raccoon, um, raccoon, not, um, ruckus singing coming from inside. Whoever lives here is uh, drunk, rowdy, and considering the number of bandits roaming this area, probably hostile. Right, lads. 
Let's go in here. I'm going to be careful with this. Because we are going to find hostile banditos all over the joint. I suspect. Here we go. My god. That's a lot of skeletons. We really want to get him in there, yeah. Okay, I'm going to use the um, smite ability on this cave worm. And then bring her down here and hopefully just pump an arrow in that shit. Shit. Okay, we've got quite a lot to deal with here. Missed! Fuck off. Um, I'm going to bring him here and have a pop at that skeleton. Yeah, just to seal the deal, as it were. We won't be far from levelling up now, so I'm not particularly worried. Missed. Good. Um, and we'll just go ahead and sink that. Shit. Good. Sit down. Oh god, another one straight away. Comes right out of the trap. We're going to need a heal spell on this guy when we get out of this. There we go. Level up. Very nice. I just seen a dexterity bonus to someone. Another level up. Well, roughly leveling up at a similar time. Brilliant. Right, let's have a look what's on the floor. Just a clear brick. Remember, we need pickaxes and shovels, I believe it was. Let's have a look in the journal one more time. Yeah, pickaxes and shovels. Um, three pickaxes and three shovels. So three of each. Let's go ahead and level the funk up. This guy needs a dexterity bonus. And we will go ahead and get a sharpshooter and a sniper bonus. They are really good. I didn't really read much into them then, but um, Sniper gives remarkable speed with missile weapons, gives a 5% level chance of taking a bonus shot in a combat round. That has happen happened a couple of times for us, and it has uh, been very good and beneficial. We're going to get Blade Master. No, we're not. We need this to get Blade Master, I believe. Alright, we have to put this in. We'll put this in strength. We'll go for Blade Master. We will go for hardiness again, put another level in that, get her really pumped. And um, this guy, definitely intelligence, we're going to keep that intelligence, rocking it to the max. Not going to bother with any of these. Just going to try and give him priest spells, the ability to cast. So we, anybody can take these, which is quite amazing. Look, magic efficiency. I mean, what do we actually need? I put one in there because I'm sure we're going to unlock more as we get more efficient with these things. Let's go for arcane law because if we go on these, requires a uh, mage spell skill of three. I thought we just had. Oh, that's her. Requires mage spell skill of. Th Hold on a minute. Oh, he's the priest. Sorry. Requires um, talk to sages in towns, right? So you need to learn this stuff. But she can. Um, we'll definitely we'll put one in intelligence this time. We're going to be balanced with her, like I've said. Um, mage skills level three, which is nice. And then we'll go again for uh, archery. Right, so she should now have access. Oh, you have to learn it as well. That's all right. At least we know we can learn it now. Um, coins, spiritual herbs, and an energy portion, very nice. Um, oh yes, that was another thing we forgot to uh, forgot to sort out, which was to give the helmet to her. She needs a cape as well, we'll give her the cape. Well, in fact, we'll give this guy the wooden shield as well. we'll give her that and this helmet, very nice. She is now nice and kitted up. I can give that back to this guy. Because the helmet is crap. Right, okay, 10% 10 10 to cold resistance. I'm going to give that to her as well because if she's in the front line, she's more likely to get spells coming her way. Not like we're going to meet those sort of spells any time in, uh, in, in the recent game. I think this should be lighter. What's that? 2 ibs, 10 ibs, and it's armor plus 4%. I'm going to do that because I want her to be evasive rather than... Uh, like I've said, take damage. So who needs some boots as well? 
He needs some boots. Very nice. Right. Silver coins, yes please. We'll take some crystals, if you don't mind. I'm gonna... What am I gonna do here? I'm gonna use his priest spell to... Cure Alduis. Right. Okay, that's locked. It's gonna be quite an adventure inside this shithole. Mortar and pestle, spoon, goblet. No, thank you. Pretty shit items, to be honest with you. There's a heavy uh, door here, blocked by timbers and large piles of rubble. The brigands have been trained to dig their way through the mess, but they haven't had any luck. Right, there's another way in here, if I remember rightly. Here we go. Actually, no, I'll tell you what we need to do here. We need to go ahead and put on a well-aimed blow. And bring that in. Brilliant. She still hasn't got that ability that we need. What the fuck? Right, I'll tell you what that is in a second after we've had a... A bit of a Barney. Okay, this isn't too bad. Ah, you fucking Nazi man. We're missing all the time. Maybe that's just because it's early stages of the game. When I played it last time, obviously... Um, I, I was hitting all the time by then. It's because we're really high level. Excellent. Um, let's exit. And we will take this guy and get a good old minor heal on her. Because she is our beefcake. Candle, a lantern. Nothing. Let's have a look in here. Crystals, get in. Oh, trowel. I thought we had one of the items we needed. Yeah, we noticed something on the wall. There it is. It's a little button. Little secret compartments, guys. That, um lying around here. This babble of garbage looked from a distance like it might have something useful in it. Closer inspection reveals it has nothing. Broken sword, iron bar, shield in portion, yes please. That's another thing we need to remember to use those shields. Pipe! Excellent! As we all know, I love smoking a good old pipe with my tobacco reviews on YouTube. Shit. Right. Oh, you fucking Nazi. Good. Oh, another miss. Ooh. Um. We will. Yeah, critical hit. Not bad. 70 odd damage. I'm actually making light work of these bad boys. Very much like work. Right, okay, in combat. Let's get them inside. Inventory, boots. I think somebody needs boots. I think um, it was this woman down here. She needed some boots. Let's send some boots down to her. Okay, what's this? Threads. Bronze shield, very nice. And a robe. Again, we are starting to get kitted out now. Um, the robe can go down to one of these two. What's the weight of it? Five. And it gives armor plus six. Give it to her. What was the other things we got? The bronze shield. We'll give that straight to her. Let's have a look. Bronze shield. 15% uh, armor chance. Yeah. She's going to be really heavy. She's encumbered at 65 pounds. And not currently carrying 52 pounds, so she can still carry quite a bit of uh, shit dice. You hear a shout of alarm coming from somewhere near the keep's main entrance. 
You heavily hope that the bloodthirsty yells are coming from Avanite soldiers who have finally roused themselves and come to drive out the brigands. Yes, it would be nice if life worked out that way. <laughs> okay. Right, let's go for a well-aimed blow at the fug at the back. What? This game is fucking annoying sometimes. With all that crap. Okay. We'll have to, I mean, when it comes to later game and things are going to be harder to uh, sort out, then we're going to have to be a little bit more cautious with what we do. Because that time, it wasn't too bad. Right, let's go for a well-earned shot on this thug. Again, why is it... Why? I'm just not getting this at the moment. We have got the... The bow on, I believe. Ow. Oh, right, we're using well in shot. I want to go for it here. Yes. Nice shot. I do like how this... I do like how his robes look in this game. Looks really cool. Right, okay. Out of combat. There we go again. Another fug. This is really effective actually this uh line of manoeuvre. Yeah, I think we've got rid of them all now. Right, I'm gonna try and go What the fuck? Shit man Okay, right. Flawless shot on this fug. Very nice ensnared as well. Ooh, that's not what we wanted. Oh no, we should have cap. We should have done a a freaking protection spell then. Bad move, bad move. Okay, it'll be fine. We've got this one, lads. Uh, right, do we have a battle discipline? No. Take that. We can't let these live. Let's go here and then cast the protection spell. What does it actually do? Um, shield chant for four turns. Brilliant. Oh, God, because he was the only one in the room. Shit. <laughs> Good, nice one. A uh, young mage steps out of his chambers to confront you, muttering the beginning of a spell of protection. One brief look tells you that he is a, uh, but an inexperienced apprentice among these humble brigands. However, his humble powers have earned him a position of leadership. As he examines you, his lip curls in an arrogant sneer. Another day, another group of Avenite adventurers, another set of treasures for our stores. I am Arcanist Peregrine, and you have earned your doom. Attack! Ooh. Not nice. Actually, that's worked a treat, that, you know. Good, 33. Um, I'm going to go ahead and heal my main character. I'm going to bring her in here. She's still got some ammo left. Could we? No. Cloak of Curses gives your group attack and a chance of putting a random curse on. Shit, man. Let's see what happens. This guy's taking a lot of hassle off uh, thugs. But we're doing alright. Let's have a look at what we got here, nothing. Gonna take that, gonna go for a well aimed. It's just shitty now. Okay, right, priest spell. Just gonna go for a smite on this. Ooh, 
a critical as well. Very nice. Okay. Right, okay, okay. Right, I'm going to use my archers to really have a pop. Actually, let's just see what damage we do here. 31 ensnared as well. Not bad at all, actually. Um, oh, fuck. I'd have liked that to do better. Um, oh, minor heal on Alduis. Um, she can take her portion and pump an arrow into that fog. Again, another meaty... Uh, oh, God. Crit as well. Why are you going for her so bad? Assholes! Good hit. Right. Again. Minor heal. Thank you. I'm going to go for... A bolt of fire this time. 19 damage. Oh. I'm surprised they aren't going for him. Still going for her. Very nasty. Sit down. Right, we're doing we're doing well. We're starting to whittle these fuckers down. And once we have Once we have all these under control. Is that a heal spell these are? Okay. He's actually confused himself. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna go for a ma uh, another heal spell, I think. On her. Her health will be much lower than anybody else's, I imagine. Um, 17 damage there. Missed. Brilliant. Get in. Uh, now we should have the well aimed strike, the flawless shot, I mean. Good hit, I suppose. Another hundred dead, and we will go for a smite. Miss. <sighs> Brilliant. There we go. Dead as doornails. I'm going to use one last heal minor wounds on this guy. And we will start picking up all the shit. Right, more robes. Take one set of robes. Definitely a healing portion and some gold coins. That was a. Uh, we did well there. Brilliant. Excellent. Nicely done. We'll take a rusty helmet and some bandages. Definitely take some bandages. Um, who do we want to give this to? This guy, really, don't we? He seems to be a target for my main character. In fact, I'll give that to him. He needs to be a bit more heavily armoured. Some bread, some copper, another tunic and a study belt. Very nice. Um, give that straight to her. So that's just a standard belt, study belt, standard belt to him. Excellent. Right, we're making a lot of progress here, lads. Cloak of Curses is still on. We're going to save game, save over the King of Funk, just in case anything happens. Wow. What the fuck just happened? I'm just going to stay there, I think. <laughs> Sit down. Um, I'm going to move him out. I'm going to heal, definitely, because that was just unbelievable. <sighs> oh, God, these are getting stronger, lads. Oh, he can't reach. Ah, oh, fuck. Nazism. Ooh, again. I'm not liking this one bit. One bit at all. Go for a well-aimed shot on this bandit. 
19 damage. Why are these bandits much higher level? Critical but not enough cigar. Again a miss. Another miss. Right we're gonna have to heal. Let's just hope this last person can hit. Miss again! That's another round of really hard damage. Good. Good, that was a like a boss. Like a fucking boss fug. Sit down. Good. We got them. It was difficult that one. Uh, I'm feeling like I'm gonna fucking save though. What the fuck? Right, I'm gonna move him down here this time. Battle discipline. Full all the shot on this rogue acolyte. My god, that's a hell of a lot of uh, health. I wonder if we can save this. Can't save in battle? No. Cannot save during combat. Right, what we're gonna try and do is um, we're gonna try and use these to take out all the rogues. Bring you here. And again, one more sweaty heal. I'm going to use her um, Call Beast ability. Which has actually been beneficial there. Because it means they were going for this instead. Nice one. Brilliant. The zombie is the focus of uh, all their malice at the moment. Yeah, go on. Get it, lad. Priest. I'm not going to use any more spells for now because he needs to save that because he is a big battle coming. And I think it's through that door. Brilliant. Excellent, absolutely excellent. We bossed this one. I was uh, surprised by that. I thought would, uh, thought that would have ended in tears. That's right. Sit down. <gasps> nice one. Another ensnared shot. Another miss. Another six damage by that. Which isn't bad. Come on, one more hit. Get in. Get in, lads. Right. Let's go over here and pick up all this shit. Good curing portion, which is always nice to get. Leather pants. Copper coins. We currently have leather pants. Who doesn't have leather pants? I'll give that to him. Okay, very nice. More leather pants. Oh, standard pants, should we say. I'm um, currently using leather pants, which is slightly better. I'm going to give them to her then. That's brilliant. Right, we're pretty much... There we go, we've discovered the entire thing now. So... We go upstairs, which is through here. And we'll have a big save before we do this, because um, I think this is a bit of a boss battle. I wonder actually if... Let's see if we've got anything... What can she cast? Let's call a beast. And let's go ahead and make sure we use that again. A cloak of curses. Right, here we go. Didn't expect that. We'll go ahead and use a flawless shot on this goblino. Okay, very good. Ooh, nice one. This is working out very well. Sort of. Ooh. That's a lot. Ooh. 
next time we'll use a well aimed shot. We're going to be leveling up to level 3 soon, which is delightful. Brilliant, they're attacking the wolf instead. It's always a bonus. I'm sure there's something around here that we don't want to be tangling with. Oh, we got two shots off there. That was that thing we were going on about. Oh, we've done it. Right, lads. Let's uh, un... Let's un thing and go and get our spoils. And that's basically this spot completed. Crude javelin, crude javelin, crude javelin. Ah, here we go. Fine robe. It's a dead wizard on the floor there. Again. Let's have a look in the inventory. We'll take a, a flawed crystal. Right, you open the small box and find a jumble of torn up scrolls. Some are papyrus, some are fine vellum. Brought from uh, the surface. All of them have been torn up and misused and disgustingly stained by the goblins. Remembering what you learned on the job board in silver, you dig deep into the mess. At the bottom you find several scrolls that have somehow resisted the goblin vandalism. The scrolls are covered with strange runes and uh, diagrams. You wipe them off, roll them up and store them away. Very nice. We've done well. We've done very well. Hail. Let's take some hails. We're getting the inventory starting to get full now, which is always like the same story in all my my uh, games that I play that are RPG based. Let's get the hell out of here then, we'll return home and we'll get this quest completed. And then we'll go and do the uh, the others. And next time, let's go down here. That was a good quest though to do, I felt. I enjoyed that. Dun 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 dun. Right, and who was it we were meant to deliver these to? I think it was, was it this person? Was it? You see a tall attractive woman with short dark hair, she studies you carefully. Let's not talk to her yet, because I think the misplaced knowledge was to give them to a Walner of Fort Dunbar, and he was himself a wizard. If I remember correctly. Jason's supplies. JR. Fletcher's shop. And here is Walner. Brilliant. You give the mouldy scrolls to Walner. He inspects them. Mostly ruined, of course, bar. I expect no more. Still, I might get some use out of them. He gives you a pair of magical scrolls in exchange. Very nice. Should we have a look? What we just managed to get our hands on? Uh, speed burst and group heal. Very nice, actually. They'll come in handy for some boss battles in the future. So, yeah, we're back down to three uh, quests left. And we'll try and get the other two minor ones uh, polished off in the next session. So anyway guys, all I can say to you is, is thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you later. Goodbye. <laughs>